Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Friday Night Flights here from the Wine Room in Westminster, Colorado. Uh, today is August 28th, which means it is National Red Wine Day, and of course we're going to celebrate with red wine. Even if it wasn't, we'd be having red wine. Uh, we've got two interesting Italian type wines today. The first one is from the uh, trip that Lisa and I just returned from yesterday, our trip to California. It's not a Californian wine. We didn't have time to stop at any wineries in California, unfortunately, but we did make time to stop at some really nice New Mexico wineries. Dixon, New Mexico is where we did a live Facebook video from the other day from Vivoc Winery. We also stopped at Black Mesa Winery just down the road in Dixon. Actually, I guess it's in uh, Valerde, I think, New Mexico. Uh, this is their Black Mesa Winery 2015 Montepulciano. So it is an Italian grape grown on site in New Mexico. Uh, let's see what we've got. Um, Montepulciano is uh, usually comes from central Italy, a little bit on the northern side. The nose on this uh, is interesting. I'll admit, we, we opened this about half an hour ago, and immediately what we both got, Lisa and I, on the nose for this wine, uh, it wasn't pleasant. It was plastic and kind of tar. Uh, as it aerates, as it gets some some uh, oxygen in there, I start getting a lot more earthiness on the nose. Um, you can really kind of smell the terroir, which is the what I love about Italian wines, where you can just kind of taste the, the earth and the dirt and the rocks that the, the grapes were, were raised in. Um, on the palate, I get bright, tart fruit on the front of the palate. Then definitely some herbs and spices in there. Uh, I would say even some spices like oregano. Um, kind of like if you took just a bottle of Italian seasoning and mix that in. I mean, it's kind of the, the, the blend of herbs and spices I'm getting there. It's very dry. It's got a high tannic level. Really nice wine, though. Um, it definitely needs some, some time to open up. I would suggest decanting this wine for an hour or so, and it would be great. I would pair this with uh, meats, maybe some heavy dark sauces, some gravy type sauces, uh, or even something like a smoked brisket would be really nice with that wine. Now, we're coming back to Colorado with an Italian wine from a Colorado winery, Bonacquisti Winery in North Denver, basically 44th and Pecos. Uh, Paul Bonacquisti has had his winery there for a lot of years. He does some great stuff. He is one of the few winemakers in Colorado, maybe the only one, that actually brings some wine in from Italy. He will bring a, a fully produced wine in from Italy, cellar it, barrel it here, let it age here, put his little stamp of, of uh, Bonacquisti wine on there, and his uh, stamp of approval. So this is his Piedmont Vino Rosso. It's non-vintage, but I think it's from about 2015. Um, talking with Paul, I believe it's uh, a Dolcetto, probably. But he brings the wine in. It's from a small co-op winery in uh, Maranzana, Italy. Northern Italy, Piedmont area, far northern Italy. Interesting nose on this. Um, something Lisa and I both agreed on, because we both... Uh, Took a whiff of this wine before we started too, and immediately what we what we got was almonds, or kind of um, like the almonds and sea salt that you can get, or almonds and rosemary. Um, really nice, and then um, a collection of uh, a, a big collection of dark berries on the nose. I get on the palate, right up front, tart, sour cherry, um, followed by maybe like some, some overripe plums. A um, little bit of bitterness there. The tannins in this are low, 
um, compared to the, the Montepulciano. It's not nearly as dry of a wine. It's delicious. The, the finish on it, I'm going to do this again. It's not a long finish, but it's very satisfying. And in that finish, it kind of brings back those almonds that I mentioned before. Um, so you kind of start with those on the nose and finish with those on the back of the palate. Uh, either way, you're not going to go wrong. Paul Bonaquist, he does a great job in northern, uh, I was going to say northern Colorado, in north Denver. Um, if you get a chance, get out and visit his winery. They're, they do wine growlers. They uh, have a full selection of wines. It's wonderful. Um, anyway, I'm off to uh, drink these and enjoy my Friday night. Hope you're having a great time. Cheers.